In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I'm going to discuss game ideas and planning your game. When choosing an idea for your game, try to limit the number of complicated or time-consuming things needed to complete the game. In other words, keep it as simple as you can. Recent Roblox games like Piggy and Tapping Simulator are great examples of simple to develop games. Piggy, for example, if we compare to a game like Dungeon Quest, Piggy doesn't have hundreds of different weapons, all with different stats and icon images, it doesn't have hundreds of skills with different animations and effects. It doesn't have dungeons with different bosses who have special designs, effects, and animations. And yet Piggy is hugely popular. So, what can we learn from this? Keep things simple, and think of ways to keep development time down. Piggy has one area to navigate. Has one skill, a trap. Players don't have any skills. Apart from picking up an item, or shooting at Piggy. Piggy has skins and different maps. But when compared to Dungeon Quest, those things are much more achievable when thinking in terms of game development. Likewise, the mechanics of Tapping Simulator are relatively simple. The player has one button to click. And again, there is not a huge item list to upkeep. If you reduce the mechanics needed for your game, then you're limiting the number of complicated things needing development. This greatly reduces the time it takes to develop your game and makes for a much smoother process where your game development has achievable goals. Before you can start developing a game, you need a development plan. And actually write the structure of it and list all the elements that should be in the game. For example, if you were to hire a developer to help you, then having a detailed plan written out will make things much easier for both of you. Likewise, if you are working alone, the same applies writing it down keeps you focused on what's next, what you need to do, and helps you stay on track to actually finish. I know this is boring, but actually this is the most important step in game development. Get this wrong or don't do it and your game is set up to fail. This plan doesn't have to be complicated or long. Just a page or two will do. Write your ideas down on paper, in a type of to-do list. Let's go through my game idea right now. To show you what I mean. So, my game idea for these Roblox Studio tutorials is called Filling Simulator. It's going to be a game where the player starts out filling small boxes, and the boxes become bigger as the levels increase. This video is part 1 of a mega video series. I'm going to work through this list and complete a video tutorial on every part until the game is completed and published. So that means if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you have a start to finish mega tutorial to watch and guide you through your Roblox development. You will be able to use the elements in my game in your game. As many of these same things will apply to your game as well. Perhaps you could change just the filling a box idea with something else. Okay, let's quickly go through what I have written down for this filling simulator game. Firstly, I have stated in this document what my game idea is. A short brief outline. Next, I have stated what is my biggest problem that I need to solve in this game. My biggest problem I identified with this game is. I want to actually fill the box with parts or stuff from a gun. But I may run into issues with too many parts in the workspace. Which lags the game. That's important that I solve that as soon as possible. Otherwise, the game might not work at all. The next thing I have listed is, what skills or stats does the player have? Or in other words, what do we need to keep track of? Here I have listed. Filling multiplier. Boxes filled. Box level. Rank. Rebirths. Super rebirths. The next list is just a checklist of all the elements in the game, such as maps, rebirths, shops, portals etc. And then, I created a start list. This list includes all of the items that I wish to develop. And I place them in the order of what I think I will do first. So, now that I have my game development plan, I can begin with the first item on my start list. Which was building the map. That will be in the next video, and as I said, I will continue doing a video for each item on my list until the game is completed. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.